Well, welcome. Uh, as you can see, I'm dressed for the fall picnic that's going to take place here pretty soon. But I want to talk to you about uh, the next lesson, which will probably be the e easiest and the hardest that you'll have to do uh, in all the lessons. What I want you to do is Monday, um, faux tweet or we're not going to do it on Twitter. We're going to do it in the discussion board that's been marked presidential debate. I want you to either watch or listen to it live and uh, tweet about it. Those 140 characters that you'll need uh, to complete a tweet. Uh, the, the, the assignment is pretty clear. I want 10 tweets of your own. Uh, you can do it from any part of the debate. You might want to do, from, you know, five having to do with how Clinton does and five on how uh, Trump does. I want you to stay away from uh, making political statements in your tweets. Analysis is fine. So if someone is hedging on the truth, you can call them out on that. Um, if you think someone scored points or lost points or... Uh, whatever kind of judgment you want to use, that's fine, as long as it stays within the realm of um, being objective. We don't want you to sound like one of the political operatives or either party. So make ten of those. There's a little um, piece that you can read about tweeting uh, on the, the lesson page. Read that. Um, and then I want you, uh, one of the things that's popular about tweeting is the hashtag, which the hashtag kind of helps you uh, get all of the same uh, similar comments grouped together. Uh, we're, I just want you to practice it. We, you won't be able to do it with this. But I want you to start everything with the hashtag. Let me see if I can get it here. Hashtag debate16. So start every tweet with debate with hashtag debate 16 and it takes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it takes about ten characters so you're already down to 130 so you're gonna have to be concise and to the point right away and then I want you also in addition to those ten I want you to look at uh, other classmates work and comment on five of them um, that way you can get used to seeing what others say and what and if you want to, if you want to react, or re, uh, I would like you to react and comment on the other person's tweet uh, instead of saying, "Oh, that's good." You know, say if it makes a good point or I disagree, um, whatever you want. This exercise is to teach you about online reporting. Probably the the, the number one social media platform for journalists is Twitter. Uh, they use it all the time. They gather news. They look for news. So I want you to get in the habit of, of using it. And, but we're not, not everybody has a Twitter account, so we just go to the discussion board and do that. Now, it's a quick turnaround on this. I think I give you until Tuesday at midnight because I don't want you to really read anybody's analysis or comments or their thoughts about it until you do your own. If you want to do that after Tuesday and look at what some of the other news organizations did, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and do that. But until you complete the other, I don't want you to do um, any any kind of reading of what else was going on. Um, email me or go to ask the class. One, if you can't watch it that night or, or listen to it that night. Or uh, two, if you have a conflict. Or, or something like that. I, I prefer you do it live. If you can't do it live, then kind of make arrangements to tape it. Or I'm sure it, the complete um, debate will be on YouTube at some time. And if that's the case, then I'll extend the deadline for you. But right now, I think it's Tuesday midnight. And this is worth 50 points. So don't blow this off. Um, the other thing is, is that the midterm is going to be our proctored exam, which means you have to come on campus and go to the testing center and take the test. We want to make sure you are who you are. If you're not accessible to OTC Springfield, you can go to any one of the other campuses. 
or an affiliated OTC uh, outlet. Uh, and you can find that at, on OTC.edu. Um, and I think if you go, I'll make sure I know where it is, but you're going to have to take a proctored exam, which means you come in, uh, the proctored person at the testing center will have the uh, password to get in to take the test. Um, and they won't give you that until you show up. You can't do any of this online. I have to do this once a uh, semester, one proctored exam. And that will be our midterm coming up in a couple of weeks. And I'll give you more details on that as we go along. For now, just enjoy this debate. It's probably going to be the most watched debate in the history of television. Um, and I think it's going to be uh, a, a very uh, interesting uh, face-off between two candidates that, that have been uh, sniping at each other uh, for since they both uh, announced their candidacy. So we'll see what happens. See if it makes any move. It, see, that's something you could tweet about is whether or not it looks like uh, the bar was moved in one person's favor or another. All right. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. I will get all the grading done by, by Sunday. I apologize for the mix-up on that quiz and so I'm just kind of letting it sit there until everybody's done and then I'll go grade everything and you'll have all your grades and all your grades will be uh, up to date by midterm so anyway I think everybody's doing really well I, I appreciate your uh, conscientiousness and and your uh, interest in the course and I hope uh, hope we can continue on uh, we will talk to you uh, next week and have a good weekend.